In this video, we'll see how to use expected value to analyze an extended warranty. The company estimates that 5% of their products will fail after the original warranty period, but within two years of the purchase, with a replacement cost of $400. If they want to offer a two-year extended warranty, what price should they charge so that they'll break even? In other words, so that the expected value will be zero. So we're going to set up a table and x will be the random variable in the table. And in this case, x will be the net profit or loss from the company's point of view. That means if the company spends money, it's a negative number, and if they make money, it's a positive number. Now there's two situations here, right? One is that the product fails, and one is that the product does not fail. And when I say fail, I mean fail after the original warranty period, but within two years of the purchase. Now, the percentage is actually pretty easy. Uh, we have 5% of the products failing, so P of X for the first situation is 0 0.05. It goes without saying that the probability that the product does not fail is then 0 0.95. Remember, your probabilities must add up to 1. Now, when the product fails, two things happen. The customer has bought the warranty, right? So they've spent some amount of money. And then the product has failed. They've gone to the company. The company then fixes it and must spend the $400 for the replacement cost. So we need to come up with a number here for the price of the warranty. And we can just change this down the road. So let's just say it's, uh, you know, uh, ten dollars. From the company's point of view, they get the ten dollars in as a positive number, but then they must pay out four hundred dollars because they're paying to replace the broken product because it failed. So that actually is a net loss of three hundred ninety dollars to the company. Excel shows negative numbers that are dollar amounts in red. So that's a negative 390. Let's just make it a number. Right. Now what happens when the product does not fail? Well, the customer still paid the $10, but the company didn't have to spend anything to fix the item. So the company makes a profit of $10. Okay, so these are the two scenarios, and this is what it looks like from the company's point of view. Either they just get the $10 for the warranty, or they get the $10 but have to pay out $400. Now from this, we can calculate the expected value. And we do this in the usual way. Multiply the probability times the value of the random variable. Do that for each of the two, or three, or however many situations there are. Do that for all the situations and then add these up. Now, the expected value is negative in this case, indicating that on, in the long run, the company would be losing $10 for every one of these extended warranties. And what we want to do is we want to tweak this price of the warranty so that that expected value becomes zero. So right now it's not looking good for the company. They want this expected value to be zero or to be a positive number. Uh, the question here says to be zero. So obviously we're going to raise the price of the warranty to get more money into the company. So let's try making it $20 since we're down 10. And that works out. So when the price of the warranty is $20, we get a nice expected value of zero and the company will then break even. 